The Gifted, Season 1, Episode 13, Thoughts. This episode's called X Roads, I guess, Crossroads, and they're still trying to make X a thing. I don't think it's going to be a thing. And, yeah, uh, another episode I love. Spoilers for every live-action X-Men think thing leading up to and including this episode. Uh, let's see, the show is rated TV-14, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we go... We open with another flashback four years ago when Lorna was in an asylum. And, yeah, you know, she points out the only reason that she actually got the lower sentence that she got was because someone close to the judge also had bipolar. You know, it's not the the judge couldn't have empathized if not for that. You know, and that sadly is something that has, you know, similar has happened in real life. And, yeah, you know, apparently Lorna attacked some, some of the anti-mutant protesters, but the judge did not know that. And Evangeline, you know, she says, we all have demons, it's about how we use them, and turns her arm into, like, a demon arm, which... Like, reminded me of T2, and also just, yeah, very, very cool. That's her getting recruited into the the mutant underground. And, let's see. Yeah, I'm back in the present. Yeah, you know, the, the triplets just don't really care that kids were being threatened by Dr. Campbell. And... Yeah, and, and Andy, you know, verbally fights the rest of the the Struckers. Right, I like the, the line, you know, I haven't seen hatred like that, smiling. And, yeah, and, and Andy, you know, look, yeah, Laurie tries to, to talk to Andy and he says, you lying about your powers destroyed this family. Why would you want to do that again? Just, yeah. And by the end of the episode, he hasn't apologized for that. So that's, yeah. And let's see. the, the um, Yeah, you know, Jace is told, you know, the, the place was, was hit. And he's like, by mutants? And the, the other guy's like, who else? I mean, comic book universe could have been aliens, robots, time travelers, and seriously though, I do really appreciate that so far the show has kept it focused on mutants, not let it get out of, yeah, out of hand. And yeah, we're told, you know, the thing that she was toying with at the very start, you know, four years ago, that was this medallion she got from her biological father thirteen at, at age 13 because he wanted her to be proud of who she was and and yeah very clever that you know oh there's like a toxic waste thing you know people have gotten sick the yeah the the, the mutant making people afraid we, we met him in an earlier episode and, you know, as a way, as a means of, of keeping people away that were going to hurt them. And, yeah, um, once that fails, they, you know, they, they call for an evacuation. And if they're okay for it afterwards, they should probably leave. And, yeah, um, this it becomes clear that the the triplets and Lorna are going to kill the senator you know perceiving that to be the way to keep mutants safe and let's see yeah and you know John points out you know it's only going to get worse you know if if we start killing and it is this thing, you know, that is a 
when when you when minorities fight back against the majority yeah the, you know the the discussion of how much force you're willing to use is extremely important yeah very clever you know that they've blocked all the exits what if we made a new exit and yeah you know people there's the combat trained people and then the people who are going to try to make an exit in the in the vault and it's very clever because you know obviously it's going to take some effort to make an exit for the vault you know es essentially the idea was never that you know there was supposed to be like a secret exit you know if if the enemy discovers that and it's a secret entrance but you know the it, yeah the idea was to to keep them away and and evacuate people in time Let's see and yeah you know in addition the 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 uh the hulking mutant and shatter together managed to um break down you know and start causing a a tunnel and yeah they have a, a line to move the debris very evocative and yeah very cool when the the combat trained mutants fight back you know the the water blast especially was quite clever because it's this thing of you know like water it's easy enough to get your hands on so you know plenty of ammunition but it's also, yeah, if it if it moves fast enough, if it hits hard enough, it's you know it's more effective than you know just like yeah a, a similar or I guess maybe it's the fact that yeah this is a water manipulating mutant water bender, so that's that's probably part of it and. Yeah, um, Clarice says, I have a bipolar friend. Assassination is not one of the symptoms, you know. And, yeah, it is this thing of the... Yeah, we, we got to get away from, from thinking that people who have mental health conditions are inherently more likely to do certain really harmful things. And yeah, very tense when the the hounds attack. And yeah, ultimately the only thing, the only way to proceed is for the for for Lauren and, and Andy to bring the building down. And yeah, very 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 tense. Yeah, you know, which of course you know. Ironically, bringing the building down is what the entire season has been building up to. You know, the the two of them use their powers in the same place, not together as such, in the very first episode. And then gradually we've been getting, you know, yeah. We see them trying, you know, Lauren trying to not let it get out of control, Andy struggling with control. You know, even long before we heard about the Fenris twins, although you know, if you know the comics, you know, we, we some of us had an inclination, in, yeah, had had guessed that it might be going that direction, and yeah, really, really tense when Lorna and the, you know, the the other three talk, and she's confident that she has to take out the senator, and they're you know yeah they make really good points and yeah ultimately she does destroy the the plane and you know like one or two you know just a few scenes later we see yeah the the you know the people who were not on that plane are fully aware that it was a mutant who took it down and yeah, you know, the the there's that exchange about, you know, what what about headquarters, mutant headquarters? It's gone. It can't possibly be gone. It's gone, McCready. And yeah, Jace feels like they're just looking for a scapegoat. 
and quits, or, you know, re resigns, I doubt he's going to quit. I figure he's probably going to pursue it without, yeah. So that's going to be interesting. And let's see, yeah, we, you know, in the new location, the, the Mutant Underground are discussing, and yeah, you know, the, the, it is basically falling apart even before Lorna and, you know, a triplet shows up to, but, but yeah, you know, and there's that line, you know, I'm not talking to you. The people that we're here for know who they are, you know, and several of them leave, you know, having, you know, yeah, they, they feel like Hellfire is the better option. And even Andy leaves and, you know, yet again, temporarily loses control of his power, you know, attacks his family. Yeah, this was a solid season finale. I am really, really excited to see, you know, season two, which I suppose I could just briefly get into. So let's see. The... So, yeah, after the, um, yeah, I'm going to do the eight episodes of Inhumans, the 22 episodes of Season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the 11 episodes of Season 2 of Legion, the 10 episodes of Season 1 of Cloak and Dagger, and then Season 2 of The Gifted. So, yeah, it will be... A little while and I'm, I'm gonna try to keep doing one per day of each of these shows so one episode per day